Hi guys, I'm Matt from the Azatest team and today I will be showing you this planetary gearbox. What does it do? Well, it quadruples the speed of the axle that goes in to the axle that comes out. So if I turn this axle here 90 degrees to the right, the opposing axle, or the output axle, will turn 360 degrees right. Now, of course, if I turn this an entire 360 degrees, it will come out of more than a 1,439.9 degrees on the other side. Now, if we reverse this and turn this uh, a full 360 degrees around, then that will divide its speed by 4 onto this side. So that only turned 90 degrees. So uh, you can see some applications in this, basically speeding up a car, so making a car, a car, go, car go faster. Obviously, it will make the car go a bit weaker, because that is what you have to sacrifice for speed. Because the faster a car is, the weaker it is, so it will be less likely to be able to go up, you know, hills and stuff like that. And in case of Lego cars, it might not even start, as in going. Anyway, so this is the Planetary Gearbox. Now in this video I will be showing you how to build it and how it works. So I guess let's just get to it. Okay, so this here is how it looks like without the entire box around it. So basically what happens here is there are four gears on the outside. These are the planets, let's say. And they are <clears throat> they are catching on the little on the rim there are little gears as you can see. And on the inside there is let's call it the sun gear, which is then moved by the outside gears, the, the planets. Because they are caught on the outside little teeth, therefore they move. And as they move, they can they move the inside one. And this speeds up the center gear. And we will be able to show this on a different creation. But this is what it looks like without the entire box. Okay, so this here is the creation, our little creation to represent the planetary gearbox. Except this is straight right now. The top layer of black gear pieces represent the stationary outside rim on the circular version on the actual planetary gearbox the bottom row of gray gear pieces represent the sun gear or the center gear and the middle gear the proper gear shaped one rep well one of them are gear shaped anyway so the middle one represents the little planets on the outside the outside gears so if we move the gear one way or another, you can see that the, ax com the axle compared to the bottom row moves at a quicker pace. Now the bottom row moves quicker than the axle turns, as you can see. And this causes the difference in the speed because we would have the sun gear in the middle being moved. Now the reason this works is because that little planet on the middle catches on to the stationary teeth on the top row. Now due to the due to the fact that the further a point is on an arm when it m moves in like a, in a circular motion it will cover more di cover more distance. Now in this case the arm is the diameter of our planet gear and the pivot is where the teeth meet at the top, the stationary ones and the planet gear's teeth. Now, because there's more distance covered the, the, on the, the further it, the point is on an arm, that moves the, the, the sun gear more. Therefore, in this case, makes it go quicker. As now you can see, the, the bottom row moves quicker compared to the axle. Now if we look at our actual gearbox, you can see this happen. So the outside rim is our 
top row of black gear pieces and the center gear or the sun gear in our little planetary system idea is the bottom row of grey gear pieces. So when these planets move around or when they get spun they catch on to the stationary teeth and they move the centre, the sun gear quicker. So that's how it works and now let's get on to how to actually build this planetary gearbox. Okay so before we get on to the instructions I just want to show you this little thing. So well this right now is just our basic planetary gearbox but you can get its performance to be even better by adding more to it. Now in theory you can keep going as many as you want but then things like uh, too much pressure on the gears will stop you at um, not too many but right now we're going to we are going to try it with two. So the way we're going to do that is by connecting it. Okay, so this here is our connected one, and uh, well, you can just keep going, but it, the physics will stop you after a while. So now let's just turn this. It will be harder to, harder to turn, but as you can see, it moves much faster. So now, because we have four times speed here to here, another four multiply of 4 here, we multiply these together, so that's 4 times 4, so that there is now moving 16 times faster than this here. And it's moving quite fast because you can see you can't even get it to move slowly because the smallest movement here makes that go extremely quickly. Now to modify that, just to show you the speed of it, I am going to replace that with this little thing here. It's slightly easier to spin with this. So now you can see how fast that red piece is moving. Now there are gaps in this movement because when my finger hits the table I'm not spinning it properly. But I will not connect a motor to it because I have a feeling it won't really do good for the motor. Anyway, so this here is two planetary gearboxes connected together with a 16 multiplier, so that is moving 16 times faster than this is. Just a bit of interesting, just a bit interesting, and a bit of fun. And now, I promise, we'll go on to the instructions.